and sapiens. I wish I could actually transmit you the Mediterranean aromas and all the surroundings that we have today here in Monsanto. It's like I can feel the spring, I can smell it. And in my hands, I have the bottle of Vignes Domenic wine. You know, Vignes Domenic is a winery that has the wines called botanical wines. And I think it's because the winemaker managed to transmit the surroundings, the aromatic herbs, the rosemary around the thyme into the bottle. So I'm lucky because I can ask today Joan Ignacy to teach me a little bit about these herbs that later are transmitted into the wine and I will show you some of them. Hello. So what, what can we find in this wine? What can I smell in the glass and then later see it around your vineyard? It's normally uh, because uh, the, the plants of the Mediterranean transmit uh, the varieties of the grapes, varieties of uh, Mediterranean grapes. Uh, uh, normally uh, have the, these, uh, these aromas which is transmitting the biodiversity in the, into the wine. No? So here we have the garnacha, no? The garnacha here from from Monsant. And what what kind of aromatic herbs? Could For example, now is the, the is the thyme and the lentisculus. Okay. Is a typical is a typical tree of the Mediterranean. Is if you uh, clean up the the hands. Uh -huh. And uh, it's balsamic. Wow. Uh -huh. it's strong aromas. The a lot of balsamic. Strong balsamic notes. All right. Uh, if uh, you want, uh, uh -huh. for example, the typical rosemary, no? The rose. Okay, the rosemary. The, the, the began the flower, no? And now it's flowering. The, the, and rosemary, it's yeah, it's a, the typical Mediterranean smell, no? Uh, it's a very um, um, the name is the um, uh, the aroma terpenics. Okay. Terpenics aromas. Terpenic aromas. Uh, with uh, mm. other varieties of the, the wall, no? of the uh, Riesling, of the uh, and other uh, varieties, uh, mm -hmm. Moscatel. Yes, and also but in, in, in Garnacha. There are a lot of the, the molecular aromatic, uh, but the terpenics is, uh, is the more strong, but is the, the, is the finesse of the Mediterranean. In Bancal, uh, a little of in the mount. Uh, a little hint. All right. Yeah. What else? Uh, another, another is the moment. Is the the time, no? The time. The Catalan farigola. Ah, oh, time. I love to use it Citric. in the also in the coo in the cooking. Yeah, is the uh, cooking for the but um, uh, this uh, this time is a uh, uh, citric uh, time. Okay, the, all, okay. also with the, the citric notes. Are, uh, a lot of the of the types of the time, no? And it's very, uh, it's, uh, it's very, very for the salute. Mm -hmm. uh, the antibiotic is a very important uh, infusion of the. It's important now for say, the immune system, no? Uh, one uh, infusion of the time is very, very good. Ah, mm. another, another aroma you uh, in the bantam is the. Uh, you know, for the other drinks, uh, the, oh. uh, the, uh, <laughs> is that from Ginebra? Uh, uh, yeah, it's the oh, Ginebra right. Catalan. Wow. Uh, it hurts. So well, I think in English is it's, it's, juniper. It's, it's green. If you want uh, to know the really, really the the tannins, uh, here is the tannin. It's the very, tannin. very, very green. You know, it's Garnacha very tannin, very ama, ama, ama. Mm. Okay. Garnacha normal doesn't have strong yeah, tannins, for the, but here. <laughs> Uh, uh, the garnacha is uh, uh, la, the madera, the uh, uh, the wood, the yes. wood, and the uh, vegetal and uh, uh, the, uh, this perfume is similar of the of the Ginevra. It's a vegetal, it's aromatic, it's, uh, it's very uh, very delicate, uh, delicate uh, aroma, but a very strong tanning. Eh? Ah, very interesting. Thank you. Is that's now we understand why the wines of Vinyas Domenic are actually botanical wines. So because you Jan Ignacy managed to make interpretation of the surroundings into the glass of wine. Thank you, Greece. Yeah, so um, 
I'm sure that uh, actually no there's one thing that I want to mention uh, Vinyas Domenech is just starting a new project uh, together with the Institute of Catalan Vines and Wines to scientifically prove how the biodiversity can have impact on the aromas of the wine so I will definitely keep you updated about this results and meanwhile if you've done research about it and you know that there is something published uh, please share uh, if you're applying this in your winery and tell us what kind of aromas what kind of surroundings are in your area and that we can taste in the wine thank you and until next what's happy and topic